No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com. After making after making Pitch Black Heist, it was not a massive jump to Slow West because I made Pitch Black Heist with the same spirit as Man on a Motorcycle, which was make the best short film I could possibly make, but also make sure Michael enjoys it and wants to work with me again. So the food was great and we wrapped early every day. That was my two <laughs> most important <laughs> things. Like the food was really good. Like, and I tell students that as well. You know, yeah. If you're working with you know, people you want to work with again and they're already in the industry, then make good food. Yeah. But I think even before the success of Pitch Black Heist, again, it didn't get into festivals for ages and got loads of my backs and then did. But um, Michael had already said, I think Michael was ready to set up a production company which is now doing Assassin's Creed but at the time Pitch Black Heist was a a way of at least setting up the company and then um, Slow West became under the same DMC thing which was the sort of, of the first film for their company and now they've made Assassin's Creed under that company so I was seen as sort of Michael's way to be slightly more involved with the writer and I could get read-throughs with them and it was slightly more collaborative. It was um, really great, yeah. you know, and um, and then I knew I had him before I started writing, so I knew fairly much that if the script was good enough and it had to be good or as, as good or better than the stuff he was getting, which was coming from Scorsese and all that, so it had to be... You know, I couldn't have just written anything, so I spent about a year and a half writing the script. Um, and, yeah, just learning how to write a script and and was a big enough challenge. But then, yeah, I always knew kind of it would be made, yeah. you know. So um, what was your first question? Uh, so talking about Pitch Black Heist a little bit. In yeah. Terms of, so this is the first time you work with a crew and with oh, Bobby yeah. Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Um, Again, you sort of realise in the f industry that who people know and friends of friends and the producer that we got for Pitch Black Heist knew Robbie and said, oh, Robbie owes me a few favours, I've given him a few adverts. And, you know, and so I met up with Robbie and he was very known for handheld, Andre Arnold, um, talky style with shallow focus maybe. And, you know, I said to him, I've got this film, it's going to be deep focus and static camera and black and white. And, um, you know, he, I think he responded well to that. And um, now, because I know Robbie now, it's just, you know, he's he's the master of light and he's um, very adaptable to working with how the, you know, how the, well, look at I, Daniel Blake and yeah. the two films you saw today. Um, uh, American yeah, American. which yeah. are both very different. Really so, different. Um, yeah, he's very adaptable and amazing to work with. Yeah. So, um, so what's his process? How did you guys work together on the first one? Well, I had I was very specific. I mean, I storyboarded and I'd always storyboarded right the way from the crappy very first thing I did was storyboarded. It was the only way I could really figure out how to get from my head to expo you know to being on set. I didn't know anything about blocking. I still really don't. And I don't really know anything about coverage. So um, for Pitch Black Heist, we practically, it's shot in a 35 mil film. And I don't think there's any, most of the shots are, are there. I don't think there's any other shots. <laughs> and and there was no other coverage. Oh, we, we just, sorry. We just shot the storyboards basically. Yeah. Um, and it kind of worked. In Slow West, I practically just shot the storyboards, and now, now and again, it was, you know, um, in the edit, it got a little bit testy, because um, I thought I could go into that. <laughs> um, but for Slow West, I mean, for Pitch Black House, it just worked really well. Like, yeah. it was a breeze to edit. Cool. And uh, working with Liam Cunningham and Brad Bender together. Yeah, I mean, their, their previous scene together had been quite an epic one so it's a bit to live up to the uh the scene in hunger oh, of course yeah, yeah yeah they're together on that um yeah liam was it was the 
he was he must have been the second proper actor I've ever worked with, and it was funny because he's the opposite of Michael. He was that was seeing that not all actors are the, are the same and have the same process and have the same, you know. But so how do they work differently? What's the? Um, I could tell you how he worked dif- more differently with another actor when I say Ben Mendelsohn and, and Michael. Yeah. They work really differently, <laughs> but uh, Liam was sort of in between. Mendelssohn and Michael. Michael's, um, Michael's very prepared and, and very kind of thorough and, you know, knows all his lines inside out, you know, and, and sort of pretty much we bonded on our love of first take, you know, shooting the rehearsal. Um, cause a lot of the time the first take was the best take and that was it. We moved on after one take and, um, so, and Liam was just a little looser, you know, not as loose as Mendelssohn, but just a little bit more kind of a, kind of, so, what we do, and then try a few different ways, and, yeah. you know, and, but um, still great, and, you know, it wasn't really until, both of them, it wasn't really until I was watching, I was editing, that I saw all the work they were doing with their eyes, and their hands, and all the subtleties. Yeah, and so... Uh, did you get anybody scared about making a film in which you're going to do a heist completely in the dark with no picture on the screen? Mm, I think someone at Film 4 or someone said to me, you can only have 1 minute 37 seconds of black or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a rule. That's a definite rule. <laughs> um, I don't think I had about 4 minutes of black or something. But um, not really. I just thought that you know, radio plays or people don't wander off. And yeah. that'd be quite, I mean, it was fun to shoot because we just went around to Michael's flat and had a few drinks and it was the end of the day and just turned the lights off and, and did loads of stuff. And, you, you know, the sound man's recording, but you're not really, there was, there was a sort of pleasurable little fun thing to do. Yeah. And then cut all that up. It was, sound design was a big job on that. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's funny watching in cinemas because you just realise the difference between cinema lighting systems. <laughs> like, when it goes into black, in a proper cinema, it goes black. And when it goes in black in, like, a multiplex cinema, then it's just, it's light grey with yeah. emergency exit signs. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, uh... and a... No Direction Home is the informal Soho Directors Community. Find us at nodirectionhome.com.